Hello everyone. And welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how I created the professional light leaks in Adobe After Effects. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Light Leaks. As always, I am using the same settings. Go to the layer menu, then New, and select the solid. Rename it to the lights. Go to Effect and Presets. Search the effect Fractal Noise. Drag and drop to the screen. Go to the settings. Change the fractal type from basic to dynamic. And change the noise type to spline. Change the contrast to 175. Change the brightness to minus 65. And change the complexity to 1. Let's see the preview. As you can see the animation is not happening. Don't worry, go to the settings. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and click this little stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type time multiply 300. Looks good. Go to settings, then under the transform. Then change the scale to 1500. This is how I created the light leaks. But you are free to use your own settings. Looks perfect to me. Go to effects and presets, and search the effect hue and saturation. Drag and drop to the screen. Check the color eyes. Then change the color hue value to change the colors. I am going with the orange color. And change the color eyes saturation to 60. Let's see what we have created so far. Cool. Now, go to the file menu and then import the required footage. Drag and drop, just below the lights layer. Then change the lights layer mode from normal to add. Let's see the changes. Looks perfect to me. Now, it's time to add one more light leak. Click the lights layer, and press Ctrl D to make it duplicate. Then drag the layer to one second. Go to the duplicated layer settings. Then under the effects. Then under the fractal noise. Then under the evolution. And change the time value from 300 to 150. Keep the layer selected, then go to effects controls. Go to transform. Then change the scale value to 1000. Also, change the color hue value to 320. Let's see the final results. Looks good to me. And I am happy with the final results. Finally, you've learned to create professional light leaks from this tutorial. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. 
I will respond as soon as possible. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.